Hi there, welcome back to part 3 of my 3D tutorial using SketchUp for working on Aloha Stadium. Uh, so, last episode we basically got the stadium to a point where um, we had the faces for the scoreboard, faces for the fences, uh, did a few, did some work around the lighting face. Also, um, did some work around the opening up the back of the, of the stadium as per the pictures. So this time we're going to be doing a lot of clicking uh, as we're going to be adding textures uh, to the faces. So the textures are on the materials tab. Uh, now I happen to have a, created a stadium textures folder, which I will share with everybody. I'll put it up on my, I'll put a link up to it on the on the post on the form. So what I did was over the last few years of building stadiums and uh, you know creating textures from either images or just getting textures from existing stadiums, whether it be on the 3D warehouse or just things that I've created myself, I've come up with I've basically put them all into one folder. And I've made that folder, uh, I've opened that folder up in SketchUp. I've made it a folder using this uh, add collection to favorites. <clears throat> so every time I load up SketchUp, this, this one folder is always there. So I can, as you can see, there's all different types of, of uh, faces, all different types of materials that are related to stadiums. Some of them could be of, of more used than others, but basically every stadium that I've built. And it's not just these, I mean, there's other images I have in the folders that aren't created as materials. This is These are materials within SketchUp, uh, saved as SKM files. Now, not all, not all ads or images I use are made from these, but the bulk of these, these are like quick uh, materials I can use just to add as textures to the faces. I will show you the other image, the way that we import images as well. Um, so anyway, but if I go to material, the materials tab, uh, materials under the tray, I'll show you window default tray, and you have materials here. You'll see this. Now SketchUp comes with a, a list, a whole plethora of materials, um, be it metals or you could do landscaping. So there's some dirt textures here that I use at some from time to time. There's some you know different types of colors. I mean. You can use any of these textures. Fencing, a lot of fencing I use sometimes. Uh, stone, just just things I might use for whether it be concrete. They have um, one second. This sometimes this is, this is asphalt and concrete. So there's all different types of things that you can use. I use basically most of these, and you can kind of you can mess around with the weight with the. You can go to each each texture has a has the. You can edit them uh, when you once you use it. I'll show you that as well. But I'm going to be picking textures from this this list, mostly from the stadium textures, or from just the different metals. Or the one thing that I don't want I want to mention that it doesn't seem to work when we're export when we're importing the uh, stadium into the game is when you just use uh, colors like this. This textures they're, they're just colors materials. These for some reason do not work when exporting. They show up as black. They show up, uh, so that basically I stay away from using colors. I, uh, and I, what I do is I, I'll take I'll take an existing material like stone or something concrete, and I will just change the color myself with this edit tab, which I'll show you once we place the textures. So, with that in mind, first thing we want to you know everything has a face. Everything here has a face, and everything here we want to put a, a material. To that, and we want to put it on both in both sides of the faces. This gets kind of tedious, but it's it makes the park look come to come to life. So, what we need to do is we need to figure out what we want to put on each face. Now, the cl the crowd faces speak for themselves. Now, there's many many crowd faces here on the state on the stadium. So we have many levels. We have you know we have this little mini deck, upper deck, and we have different sections within that. I'll show you how we're going to do that, and then as also well behind the stadium. So in this one, we have many faces. So we have to lots of clicks. Putting, we'll be painting the crowd faces on all of these. So and we also have the fences, the walls, the dugouts, everything else. That's the scoreboard, which we'll be importing images. I'll show you that. So while we get in, the first thing, one of the major rules as far as getting the 3D crowds, which you won't see here. But one of the major uh, requirements is that the face, 
this, if, I, if I click on a face here for the crowd and, and I click reverse face, you see that this is a white. It's white. One side's white, one side's dark. Well, for whatever reason, when we import the, we want to use the 3D uh, crowds in the game, every crowd face needs to be on the light side, facing up, facing out. So what we need to do is we need to change every one of these crowd, only the crowd uh, faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shift select, and I'm going I'm to select every crowd face that I can see. Okay, I'm just going to move it around. Just keep clicking these crowd faces so you can see they're all being selected. And sorry, this is going to be a little bit tedious just because we have to go through every one of these faces. And we're going to reverse them all at the same time just to save some time here. So right here it gets a little bit iffy because there's so many. It kind of divides them up. Oop. I don't want to create. I don't want to. Sorry. So this is just takes a little bit of time. Do real quick. Uh, I just wanted to show you this because it's very important. Because if you don't flip these faces over for the crowd, you're going to wind up with black crowds in the game. And you're going to be wondering why. So, all right. So I selected all these. I'm going to right click, reverse face, and then we have all white crowd faces. Okay. Now this is basically the only face you have to worry about to have this this way. And it's kind of good. And now. If I were to paint, paint, if this was all faced faces and and I wasn't sure what color, which way it was, you could always do view if the, uh, face style. And if I did monochrome, I'll see the same exact monochrome will show me what I'm looking at now, as if there were no faces. What I want to do is shade it with textures to show everything. So, what I'd like to do first is I have a picture, and you can see. I'll do like to do the walls first. So there's you know, the walls look a little bit brownish. I guess you'd call it maybe black. You know, I wouldn't say black because this this is more like the entrance to the um, where the garage doors are and everything. That that looks more black. This the wall actually looks brown before where the fences are. So what I'm going to do is go to my stadium textures. I have I have some material here that I use sometimes for brown. And I'll just basically click on it. So I should have the paint bucket. And then I just click on the the bottom part of this because this is going to be fence. And then the center field piece is all the same. So we're just going to click on the, the faces we want. This is all fence. This is not. We'll click on this. We'll click on that. We'll change this after because that's more of the dugout. But that's fine. So basically I just want to click around. Leave that. Leave that. And here we're also going to want to do the tops and the backs. And we'll have the back here as well. Sorry, I'm just moving along really quickly. So we want to kind of touch the backs and the ends. Anything that looks like that, that would be part of the wall. So I'll just do it right here as well. Now if I zoom all the way in, you can see it kind of looks like a little, like small pieces of that now. What you can do, I think we have, well, I just want to touch this again, touch the backs and the, and the tops here. Okay, so that looks like it's done. And let me just make sure this backs here are done. So if I click that, you can see it's all. All right. Now, we have that done. Now we can also, now we, now we have this texture, we can edit it. Or actually, what I want to do first is I want to just make sure we every time we put layer texture down, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that both sides are are, are are painted. So what you do is you select, right click on any of these textures that we just painted, do select all with same material, and that will pick every text every single face that you have that you painted with this texture. And then we want to right click again, reverse face, and that will reverse every face that has it. And then you just basically click on, left click on with the paint bucket, and that puts everything back on the white face. Now I think every face we had was, was if you have some that are dark and white, half and half for it that are showing, you'll paint, you might have to click twice on two different faces because the dark faces won't be, if you reverse 
everything, you know, the other half will be reversed and the other half won't be. So you might have to check around and make sure that everything got painted. But in this case, I think everything was dark to begin with. So we just flipped it up, everything to white, painted it. So that's basically what we want to do now. We can edit. If we want to change the color, I can see this is a little little light compared. So what I'd like to do is you can you can change any of the colors. You can see you can change the material to any color you like. Now we put it right back to where we're around. You can also make it a little darker. Now let me just press the space bar. See, so that looks kind of like um, you know looks some, somewhat to, to you know you can see the color up here on the up here on the walls as well is around the same the light on it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just lighten this up a little bit and we will also push this press this color onto these little walls up here part of the Oops, sorry, it's just going into the stands. My, sorry for the... Okay, so we got that. We'll just do the other side. And again, we have to paint every single... There's going to be a lot of clicks, as I said. This might take a little, a little while to get this all done. But I want to do to everybody to show what I do every time. So, okay, click that, click that. And then again, what we'll do is select all, reverse, click, and there we go. So, we got that done. That's similar textures, okay? All right, now obviously we're gonna do the field and the, we can do, I usually save that to the end just as the fun part, so. Now, as you see, the center field, little garage area here, that's more black. And my stadium textures, I have a few different types of black. I have black background and these blinds. So I have this one, which kind of looks like it's an image of something. This I like to use a lot for this piece. Now, what you can do is I click this, it kind of looks like a garage door or something. Now you can edit not only the color, but you can also change the size this way. So this is 58 feet, 4 inches. So if I just make this really small, say 2 feet, you can see it changes the scale. I hit enter, I hit space. Oh, I'm sorry. Hit select again. Oh, my fault. I must have. So if I hit two feet, there we go. Now you can see it's much smaller. It's almost harder to, to tell. So I'd like to keep that as my. Leave that as that. And again, so that's like the, you know. So if I select all that, right click, reverse, there you go. Now we have all the, with that. Now we can also do the same with this piece here. You can get more detailed, as, as detailed as you want, honestly, with this. Uh, I like, to, I'm just for this purpose, I'm just gonna kinda keep this textures to a, as simplistic as possible. Okay, and I will select all, reverse, bang, there we go. So we'll see we're already coming along. Um, but the fronts of the, oops, sorry, the fronts of the uh, of the different decks. According to this, it looks like it's a little grayish. Um, so what we can do is we can use like a concrete or... So what I would like to do is go up to the concrete, asphalt and concrete, we just pick a gray. doesn't really matter that the texture is not going to show up very good. But you can see... So this is all, you can just fill in the... This is just like the fronts of the decks. Now a lot of times these get covered with advertisements, but didn't seem so like these advertisements are used very much in the Aloha Stadium. It looks like there's just mostly just the scoreboard. 
but you can feel free to add your advertisements. All right, so again, so we've done that piece, select all, reverse, paint. And you can see the stadium starting to come a little bit of life to life with the textures. Now we also have the walkways here. There's a couple walkways. There's one here, one there. Again, you could use, I have a, in my stadium textures, I like, you know, I have a color here that I use, a default material. I just kind of use that for my walkways. It's very similar to the other one that would just be used. So you just paint the walkways. Because anything that you don't paint and don't paint with both sides is going to show up as black on the in the game and it's not going to look too good. So again, we try as hard as we can to get everything painted first. Now, when we import, I'll show you as I show you in another episode when we import the stadium into the game, we're going to check it. We usually run through the checks and you'll find out pretty quickly whether or not you missed any textures or not. And that's fine. You can always just refix that again. It's just yeah, the only thing is you have to you'll be doing is reimporting all the time. So if we're fixing and reimporting, we're trying to minimize that. So we have the walkways done. So we'll select all again. Just do the same thing. Paint. All right. Now I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to leave the crowds for the end. Now, as you can see, the lighting. The lighting. It looks like you know the center field section is no lights, but the, everything else after that has lights all the way around. So um, what I'm going to do is at the bottom, as, as you can see, I mocked off a little bit of the bottom because there's like a little bit of a lip before the lights. You know, I mean, I sometimes I like to get pretty detailed. So I'm going to pick another. We'll say. I'm not roofing, we'll take metal, say we'll just do a dark metal. And we'll just place that on these little spots. Just do just again for the just doing a lot of the same thing, just making sure and we can also do the sides like that as well. And the tops. All right. Okay. Now, in my stadium textures folder, I actually have a light that I added just for that. I found this one. So this is something I copied from another stadium, and we're just going to select that, and we're going to put the lights here. Now that looks pretty good, and we can do it around here the same way. Uh, we'll leave that there. Okay. I'm not sure what the back looks like, but... Okay. Now, the back, we should probably do the same thing. These aren't transparent, so... Let me just click off of that so we can... It's not selecting everything. Okay, so remember, because this, this this actually is two face, four faces. There's one here, one there. So we kind of want to make sure we keep them... That's the that's the back of the lights actually, so I just want to show that. Okay. Now I want to select just like the rest of them all with the same material, reverse, and we'll do that. And you can see the lights are there. Okay. All right. Now there's also in the middle. There's just the piece there which kind of looks like some bar you know I don't know what it looks like just some supports and nothing else really there now a lot of the texturing here is just uh, a lot of the texturing here is just finding something that might look like it could fit there and might things aren't gonna be exact obviously so I say I look and I see this win black windows rear, whatever it is, I found this texture. And it looks kind of like that thing. So if I put that there, you know, I can kind of go for that. I think that would go similar. You know, I think you could say that. I mean, it's, I think it's good enough. That's my opinion. You can always change the size and if you want. This is 25 feet. Say make it 30 feet. Make it bigger. Or 40 feet. You can just mess around 40 
can see it gets bigger or 60 feet. Yeah, I think 40 was good. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. I think that looks good. And we can put it also here. Just put it across. I'll get into positioning of the textures in a, in a little bit, in a little bit. But uh, for now, I can see I already missed a few textures here. Just from the back, I didn't do this piece. So, all right. So we have both. Do that, and we'll select all, reverse, paint, and we should have. Okay. So here we go. Now there's also some under roofing that we could use. Well, let me for for it. Let me fix this while I have it here. So if I, if you want to click, on, if you want to get a texture, what you click on is the material, select, click on the little eyedropper. So that's a little. So so you see the eyedropper. Now if you click on any of these, it'll pick that texture automatically. So you do that. So if you ever want to put this anywhere else, you can just quickly find that texture. And then it automatically goes to the paint bucket tool, and you can just kind of throw that on th onto the, just like we did here. So we just got to okay. All right. Okay, so we're looking good. <clears throat> Hit the space bar always brings you back to the, to the pointer if you're stuck on a tool and you don't want to be on that tool. Now, roofing. Roofing, uh, they have a, a selection of, they have a selection of roofing, like some shingles and uh, sometimes I like to use the dark shingles, just I'm not sure exactly what the roof looks like on Aloha Stadium, but I mean, again, this is the roof is not really, and the exterior is not really a priority of mine. And I also can do this little end here. Like I said, we want to touch it, but we want to, we do want to touch every single face, no matter what, because we don't want to see things. We don't want things looking unfinished. All right, all right. So that's good. Select all, reverse, bang. Okay, and then under also if you're playing, we have a game going, and we can see that we want to get the under roofing. We also have other textures. Let me see if I have them here. I do not. So I'll show you if you want to put something underneath here, which I probably should have put this under. Because this part might this might be visible depending on your camera angle, so we want to keep this consistent. All right. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of going back and forth. You're gonna see pieces that you that you didn't realize. Oops. All right. Gonna fill these in. Okay. Well, again, I can just click on this, select all, reverse faces, click that, and we're good. All right. So again, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna. I mean, for, you know, let me see if I can find a texture that might show, you know, something that would be under the, under the roof. Um, I don't think I have anything here. But if I do have on the folder itself, I have many other images. I can think of one off the top of my head. So I'm going go to go to my stadium textures folder. You can see I have many, many ads, different ads from different stadiums, different textures for grass, different everything. Um, there was one I had in mind, and I kind of think, oh, here we go. So some of these are like staging, 
but some a lot of these look kind of look, look like the underside of roof. Uh, if I so if I click that, oh, I'm sorry. Let me just get out of there. I'm gonna redo this again. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're importing as a texture. Just click that little radio button there. And let me see if I can find that again. Okay, I'm gonna click this one. And you want to put this on the corner. Let's see if this cooperates with me. Eh, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, sorry. It's not cooperating. Hold on. You have to find the corner, or a corner, or a point. Uh, There we go. So we can just make sure it fits and just drag it to the other end and there you go. And then you click, just paint it again. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is, I'm talking the underside of a roof here. I just want it to look something like. Okay, you can see it kind of looks like it's the underside of a roof. Just in my experience doing this. And select all. Reverse, put it there. There we go. Okay. So, I mean, if we're playing a game, you can see a little bit of it. Okay. That's that piece. Now, the sides of the. I usually just put some kind of a material. Again, the can't, picture doesn't really. You can't really tell. But for now, I'll just put some other kind of metal or. And we do this corrugated stuff. Doesn't really it doesn't really show that very well, but we'll just do that just to get the uh in fact I'll do this I'll do the uh backs of that as well. Just to get something on there for now. You can always change it after. That's the beauty of this. You can just have to re export it, put it in the you know, test it out in the game. But in this case I just wanna get a color. This way as well. There's a lot of clicks. Just clicking, 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 clicking. Okay, get that. Select all. Reverse. And we got it all. Okay. I also noticed that we have the concourses here, which I don't know how much is going to be seen, but at the same time, we should probably paint it. So we can give. Same, I'd say we can use the same texture for the walkways that we used, right? So I'll just paint those concourses. Uh, now there's some reason there. Sorry, just uh, boom, boom. I had to the way I had to fill these in. I had to stack. I had to diagonal, create some diagonals there. So we have to kind of lots of clicking again. Just want to fill every every face. Now some of these faces, like I said, might not be visible in the game, but I like to just make sure it's a finished product and just make sure there won't be anything in case anybody wanted to use a funky camera angle and you see something. You don't want to see these black sections in the game. It's a little pet peeve of mine. So, uh, the concourse. Yeah, there's no concourses on here because I didn't do that piece for the side. Okay. And I'll so fix this little area here. It's not a concourse, but <laughs> sorry for the silence. I just want to finish doing this. All right. Now the crowd is going to be next, I think. We're going to finally do that piece because there's, there's a lot to go, there's a lot that kind of goes into the crowd. Just uh, want to make sure everything looks good. That's the that's one of the biggest pieces of the stadium is the is the crowd textures and what really makes the stadium pop, in my opinion. Okay, so we did all this. We're going to once again do the select all. 
Thank God you can do this from... Oh, did I not do... Oh, hold on a second. I didn't do it in this section. Oh, boy. Let me just make sure I don't have to go back and redo all these. Well, yeah, so... And... I didn't have a problem there. Okay. I just want to make sure that they're all... All right. Now, if you also, I just want to bring a point out that if you select the face and you have this face entity info, you can see that both sides of the face are painted. And you can see the material shows up there. So if you ever see a face, if you click on a face that doesn't have that, you just see these two blank, or these two... That, that basically means there's no material. So you can double check your... Uh, you know, your faces just by clicking on them, you can see that if you use that. Fo that okay, actually, we're gonna do the fences next. So the fences. What I like to do is I use this. I have a couple of these uh, fences here. I have a red and a blue one. And what I'll do is I'll just paint these on here, and you should be able to see. You can see through the fence now. So it's an actual fence. Now the fences don't really show up too well in the game, but we'll get to that. Um, in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the fences for the the walls here. Uh, you now you don't have to for the fences you don't have to, these fences that are transparent they are automatically just there's one it basically creates one face for well it already does the second face so you don't have to reverse these. But just double check it always helps you can always do it anyway and just double check so it doesn't really but you can see. Now the color of the fence is a little darker. It's a little, I call it, you know, I, I like to just make it black because it, sometimes it shows up a little bit better in the game. So I'll select the fence, edit, just drag this down, and you can see it's it kind of makes it blacker like that. And uh, for this fence, for the corner, uh, you can use the same thing. And just again, it's not going to show up too well in the game anyway, but it's good to have them. All right. Now I'm going to save my progress here. So, and just to let you know, when you save, I have mine saved off. Every, everything you do is going to be saved on there. You have your, your file. You're saving, but when you export, it's going to export all the 3D files to that wherever you're saving to the folder that you're saving this this particular model to. So, <clears throat> right now we're going to add the crowd. Now the crowd, as you know, we have to think about this because there's four levels, and I'll show you in the stadium textures. So these are the textures I use. So you have, I have a couple of color. I have, many, I have a few colors. I have like green, red. I have another color, um, I can't, a blue, I believe, that I have zero. There's no no crowds, just blank seats. Now, I very rarely use that. Um, but then we have a seating attendance one for each color, and one is the most sparse crowd that you can have. Seating attendance two, again, is for every color. That's got a little bit more crowd in, involved. Uh, and three is basically almost full, and four is full. So I'll show you what I mean. So generally in the bleachers, in the top row, is I usually like to use the one. And I, th I believe in the picture, they have, well, they have yellow. I don't have yellow. So I'm going to use gray. Um, so I'm going to find the one for, the, for gray. And we'll, put, we'll paint that there. Now you see this is like the 2D texture, and that's fine. It's got the little out, the, the things here. And you can see it here as well on the curve, and you point, paint it here, and that gives you the upper deck. It gives you the one. Okay. Now you could go ahead and do it the same, but not. It's not always, you know, that empty up there. So I'm just going to do the upper deck for the. There's one. Now I don't. What I usually do is I change the size. The default size is 85 feet. I do 100 feet to give it 
scale and then basically that comes out when it does a 3d crowds because it tells you how big the crowd's going to be you can change it to whatever you like this is just something i usually use for myself and it comes out pretty well now um I, the, again this color of the crowds doesn't really matter because in the game the 3d crowds don't have colors uh specific as far as i know um and that you know if you were using the 2d crowds then yeah you could use these and this is what would show up in the game so you can see this red here, blue here, and red here again. So for the 2D, I like to just try to try to keep up with it. So for the for the middle here, the middle two, oh, I'm sorry, let me see, two reds and a blue. So we'll have do the seating attendance two for the red, right here, here, and here, and here. Um, and again, we have to up, we have to edit that to 100. You can see that. So then all the lines, all the things kind of match up there. It kind of makes it look good. And then we will actually before we do anything else, I'm going to do an eyedropper, pick this texture, select all. Now this is interesting because you need to keep remember you have to keep the white face out. So right now we painted on the white face, so we need to paint on the reverse face, the dark which we do, and then we want to reverse it back just to make sure we keep it on the white. So we're going to do the same thing here. Select that, select all, reverse, paint, reverse back. Okay, and I believe this is blue. We're going to do a blue two. Hit edit to 100. Select all, reverse, reverse. And let me just remember, so then it's red again, kind of reddish at the bottom. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep it at two. Cause I don't see a lot of, a whole lot of attendance. Now this isn't the end all, be all of all the, of the attendance, but for 3D at least, cause 3D changes depending on the crowd size. Um, so, you can reverse that again. Now, whenever you do this, you have to. If you replace, if you place that, you have to do a, change the size again. Now, if I if I just did the eyedropper on the one I've already changed the size, and then I paste it, which I should have done, then it, you don't have to do that again. So what I'll do is I'll do the eyedropper here and use the two, and I'll use it up the top. Actually, that should be gray. I'm sorry. So I'm going to use the gray too, because this is kind of right behind. I'm going to use this on this top layer, and you can do this all any way you want. So I have to click on each one. There we go. Edit this to be 100, and we're going to select select all, reverse, reverse. Okay, now well, we're going to do the red two up here, and then maybe the three in the below that. Okay, I'm going to edit this again because I didn't copy it. Select all, reverse, paint, reverse. Okay, now I'm going to do a, a three for red. You can see it's almost harder to see the red seats because it's empty. Because they're not as empty, I mean. Sorry. All right. Select all. Reverse. Paint. Reverse. Edit that to 100. And we're going to do a blue on the sides. We're going to do a blue three. And we'll do a red three here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to do reverse, paint, reverse, edit, 100. 
select paint tool the blue because we didn't do that yet select all reverse paint reverse all right now this is I'm just going to do four here this is usually where it's all filled in so I'm going to do four red paint that in looks basically all the, the whole crowd is there and we'll do a select all reverse I don't see I don't think there's a difference between this and the blue but we'll just edit that to 100 to keep everything consistent you can see with the curves it kind of does a little doesn't really react well with the curves because this is kind of all bunched up and we can there's a way we can fix all that but it just takes a lot it takes a, some tedious work to do that and since this is behind home plate I'm not too concerned but I can show you the technique I use and I'll just use the blue four select all reverse paint reverse okay and edit to 100 okay now again so these are a little bit off each one because of the curve and the way the texture is working what I do is you have to go you can edit each each face so first thing I do is I select the face I'm working on then you right click you do texture position this is where you can manually move the position and you can see you can kind of move it in line if I move it in line where the seats are with the one to the left of it it's pretty much the same right there and I hit OK and I hit the, the select button you can see it kind of looks better now right but then you know so you have to kind of do that for the next one and it kind of gets tedious but sometimes it's needed because if you're in center field or you know it's something that's visible you want to do that um, so again we can do one with uh, uh, with an aisle so we're just gonna have to put it somewhere somewhere, somewhere close okay like that so it's, it's somewhat nicer but then you can and then you can do a texture and you can move it you know and like and we'll just do we'll just do a couple more and this one you kind of want to take that aisle away And uh, like that, you kind of get the hang of what you're looking at. We'll just do one, two more. We'll do one more in an aisle. Okay. So this is kind of the kind of a tough part about doing this, but you know you get you know you get good at it after a little while, just like anything. So you can see how it looks a little bit better now compared to the top, right? All right. So. Um, Make sure we did do. Let me click on the. Okay, we clicked that. Oh, oh no, that's the line. Okay, so we have the faces. Everything has two faces on it, and you can see the crowd is looking pretty good. Uh, and we have the wall. We have the fence. Uh, one thing we don't have is the floor here, which is probably going to be some kind of concrete. Again, uh, make it a darker, so it's and uh, same thing with here. Reverse that. Reverse that. Okay. Um. Okay, and then we have the dugouts. Now the dugouts we have to do a little bit of work with. As you can see, I have the wall in, in front of them, and that's not really what I want to do. So I want to kind of cut where this dugout meets the wall. I want to kind of cut that. Sorry, I had the wrong tool. Pen tool. So I'll just basically draw a line out here. And I'll also do it at the same point where the dugout meets the wall here. So now you have a separate face, right? You can delete that. And we'll have to delete this as well. Probably get rid of this. Uh, and we want to draw our line just to. Oops. Sorry. Just because we want to make this face its own, right? So. All right. I think we've done that. 
And we also want to close off this so it makes the close off these. We don't want any exposed. Uh, okay, let me just see. And then we'll just fill in with the dry drop. We'll put the wall tool here and just kind of fill that in. And we'll fill this side out. And then of course we'll just we can just reverse this one and do it. And then we can reverse this one. Do it manually. Now, what I like to do here is just draw a little bit, kind of, you know, draw draw a little bit of a, hold on, just like a little bit of a, a border for the. This is just my little dugout technique. All right, so we can kind of get rid of. Um, get rid of some of these lines. Okay, so we have this, we don't need this, and we don't need this. So this is one continuous border. Now, for the color of the dugout, I don't know if I can see it here, but it's a little bit, looks a little rusty kind of color. So we're gonna, kind of similar to this, but a little bit, maybe a little bit lighter. So we'll just do a metal, or we'll do a stone. We'll just paint this stone first. Sorry, I might have a little, a few extra faces there. Okay, and might as well do it over here as well for this for the beginning for this piece. And do this, this. Okay, this. All right. Now, the color. We can do edit, and we can kind of make it a, a little well. Maybe this won't be. Let me see what this. So you, what I do is make it as small, one inch as small as possible. It kind of really gets down to where it's a almost a smooth, looks like a smooth texture. So we can take, we can kind of change the color. It looks like a little orangish, rusty color. Okay, we'll leave that and select all, reverse. Reverse. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing over here for this. So we're gonna take the wall, send it out. So when you zoom in on everything, you can see kind of you can see notice it looks a little bit more funky. Um, you, you know, you can make it even smaller just to kind of make it microscopic those texture pieces, but I don't really let it bother me too much. So we'll just get rid of this. We'll repaint this. I mean, I'm sorry, we'll reconnect that. Just, we don't want any black edges, you know, in the game, so. Um, that, we'll just reverse it while we're here. Click, reverse, right click, left click, okay. Uh, we'll just get the little border. Do a little select, put that there, that there, select all. All right, now, let's see if we can get rid of this as well. There we go, make that all part of the field. It's like this little area here, we don't want that, okay. Make that the warning track, so, okay. Now. We have a little, what I like to use for the for the dugout, which is very rarely seen, is this little, well, it looks like a press box or a clubs, club suite now. It looks, you can see it's a little bit, you know, kind of looks like a dugout with people in there, you know. So you can change, you can change the size of it. You do texture position, you can, these little tabs here, you can go up and down. These, this thing here can change the size. You can actually see it a little bit more if you just click and drag it out. Um, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I think that looks all right. I mean, if you were to look from from a distance, it looks like there's people in the dugout. And I'll put it over there as well. And then select all, reverse. And there we go. So we have the dugout. Now, of course, uh, okay, so now we have the, 
the, the grass and the winning track. Now you can see it's turf. So we're just going to unhide that. So we have to, the, the only thing about grass textures is there are not very too many grass textures here. So what I, us, what I usually use is I'll take one of the field grasses here. I think this is from the actual game itself. Do a reverse face, put on it. Okay. Make sure it doesn't really have to be reversed. And you can, if you want, like turf, which is more like a rug, you don't. You can kind of make it smaller. I'll make it 10, 10 feet. Kind of looks, kind of looks like a like a rug a little bit, you know. And then we can change the color of it to have it more of a turfy color, so it's more like that that color. If you just kind of make it towards the blue side, I like that for a turf color. Um, We'll leave that for now. And then for warning track, I like to use landscape. And let's see with the warning track. It looks kind of regular reddish dirt, kind of. We can use... That looks good, but we can also we can make it a little bit lighter. Like that. Just by changing the color using the pin the color wheel there. Okay, now I just want to let you know. So I just want to give you another technique here, which I haven't used yet. But if you had a color that you thought like the color of the wall for instance and you wanted to make sure that color of the wall went on a different texture, you could select the texture, say the warning track right here, and you can do edit. Actually select I'm sorry, you want to select the wall texture. You want to change the warning track to that wall texture color. So you have that texture as the active texture, and then you select the texture you want to change. You edit, click this little button here, match color of object and model, and then you click on the object you want to match it to. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't click the right. All right, so you want to select the texture that you want to change, edit, match color, and then you select on the object the color that you want. And there you go, and it changes it to that color. So you can have two different textures of the same color for the most part. But we'll, I just wanted to show you that technique. I'll just put it back to the way it was. So now we have a, we have the grass and we have the uh, warning track. Almost there. So we have, next I'm going to do is put the field on it. Now the field I'm going to use, at this point we can hide, I'm going to hide the uh, diagram because I don't think we really need this anymore. So we have basically the field and the stadium and we have the scoreboard to do which I'll show you after this. Let me just I see something I need to fix right here. I'm sorry. All right, sorry. <laughs> okay, so what I do what I usually do now is I have fields of all the stadiums I have, and I will take, obviously there's, if I, if I hide it, well a diagram actually, which I wish I didn't hide, let me just unhide it again, and you can see it's a typical AstroTurf field, so I'm going to pull up one of my older diagrams, um, my older stadiums, let's see if I can find it. If I have one, uh, ballparks, models, Tokyo Dome. There we go. Well, so that's a good one. I just did the Tokyo Dome not too long ago. So I'll open up Tokyo Dome now. If any any of you can download my state my parks, they all have the SketchUp. Uh, so this is my Tokyo Dome stadium that I created. Uh, so what I do is I click on my mound because that has the the whole entire infield and then also I have to click on the shift hold shift click and double click on oh, double click on that first double click on the batter's box thing here make sure those are highlighted then click on the shift click on the mound and hit control C to copy simple like that and control V to paste and here it goes simple as that and you paste it there and now it automatically comes to the move tool. So you see the move tool. Now what I do is I 
go to the to the bottom of the home plate drag that click on that drag it to the origin or as close to the origin as you can get leave it there oops sorry and as you can see it's already should be mostly lined up with the with the axis all right so then what we want to do here is we want to paint the lines now this is a little bit you can see but you can see this is about a half inch above the ground because if you collide those with the with the actual ground textures it won't look it won't look pretty so I when I put the infield in the stadiums I, I always raise it a half an inch up just to keep it kind of separated so it's a little weird when you see the wall here but you're not going to notice that so here we want to put little lines for the I'm going to put a line up here all the way to the top for the foul poles right there's just like a like the, the coloring of the see this is a little bit off but I think it should be fine. We'll just use this. Okay. Now, I have a foul pole. It just so happens that I think this is... You can see the yellow here, right? So it just so happens I have a foul pole color. Uh my stadium textures folder I'll pull yellow just basically paint that like that and oops sorry I just gotta go through my textures here select all reverse paint those again so here's your foul pole now also from Tokyo Dome if I click on that one again, there's the foul poles. I already have those as groups, so I just basically select both of those, control, and just have, so I have both those hit control C, back to my model, control V, and you can just place them anywhere for now, and we can just basically move those. With the move tool, I just basically put it on the very bottom front. Oh, this is tough. Sometimes it's a little doesn't really. There we go. So, kind of want to put it right on the top of the fence. There. And now, if you have to, if you want to swivel it, you can see that it's a little bit off. You can just swivel it around like that with the move, with the rotate inside the move. Okay. And we do the same thing with this one. For some reason it put, dropped it in really high. So I'll just. Uh, sometimes it's uh Oop. what happened here so one second I moved it and it didn't paste it in the right spot there we go there we go okay so we have our foul poles and our field in our dugout. And the last piece I think we need to do here is the, at least I'm going to do here now, is the scoreboard. Now the scoreboard, which usually I like to get a straight on image from a picture. Now this isn't the best quality uh, for ads, but you can see there's two ads on either side. Then you have this, um, you know, this kind of old looking scoreboard with a clock in the middle and maybe a video board on the right. So <clears throat> What I like to do is put, you know, a couple of different ads on here. It doesn't have to be those because you can't really see them too well. So what I do here is I'll, you can see that the ads are kind of split down the middle on the two left, on the two sides of the, uh, so I'll basically find the midpoint here, split that down the middle, find the midpoint here, split that down the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import two images. So I'll do file import, go to my, Rusty Stadium textures, and I see I have many different ads now. They have a lot of old ads. I have a lot of more, you know, stadium-specific ads. I'm just going to use some basic ads that might fit there. Um, let me just see if I can find a few. Sorry for the delay. I didn't have these picked out ahead of time. 
use a McDonald's ad. So you click the McDonald's ad, go to the corner, and then you just kind of drag it up, and it should fit pretty good. Yeah, see, it does. So you just drag it. You can either drag it to one side, or you can drag it to the top. There you go. So that, that, that puts that image there. You can then you do the eyedropper to grab it. As a as you can see, it's a texture now. And reverse it, paint it. It doesn't matter if it's offline there, but you want to reverse it back again to, to the to the original face that you used. Actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna undo this. This one I want to keep as as. I want to put these. Start off with these as white. I find that sometimes the ads show up reversed if I don't do them as white. So I'm gonna redo this again. Paint. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you this texture position. You can just basically drag and drop it. Just drag it over. Make it look like it's in the center. Oh, that didn't really do it. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, there's one add down. We'll do another import. So this is basically just picking your own ads. Um, let's see. What can we do? New York Life might be a good one. Put that on this side or right here. Do a select, reverse. Although we're in Hawaii, but there's New York life everywhere, right? So import. Uh, Budweiser is always a good one to go with. Um, Pepsi. Well, we don't have Coke. Well, we have Pepsi. Yeah, that won't really fit too well. Um, Sam Adams, that's a, that's a nice one. Sony, stop and shop. So you can pick whatever ad. Let's do a tops. Just, now this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, you see this doesn't really fit. If I went all the way to the top, it kind of goes off. So what I'll do is I'll... Uh, sometimes it puts it onto the wrong thing. So when you when you paste it, it might go to the wrong face. So you have to paste, take it off of there. And then you can reverse this face. Drop it. Reverse again, put it back, oh, and then we get a mess. Then we have to kind of go through. Sometimes the, the, the SketchUp does that, and I'm sorry about that. Okay. Now this one we have to fix ourselves, so we have to do a pos position. Now this one we can drag up, and then kind of move. Well, actually, we'll do it like that, and then drag it up. We'll just do it for that one for now. So that kind of fix fixes that. Now we want to make sure we put that on the other side. Okay, and then we'll do one more ad. We'll do one more ad that's more like a it's like a square. Well, how about Adidas? Hold on, let me select the me import. Sometimes these uh don't work. Here we go. Okay. So you can do it this way. Again, see it puts it in the I don't, I don't know why it does that. But I'll just okay. Now this one we can actually put if you want to just leave it like that. You could just have it do two. Just have it like that, which I like sometimes. And we'll just select that, reverse, paste, reverse. Okay. Now I'll show you with the scoreboard. I'm gonna say I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna open up my Adobe Premium. Sorry if you don't have it. Photoshop. But you can use any any tool that you can just basically select and crop an image from. So I'm gonna open up my Photoshop and I'm going to put it file new. And it automatically has that copied image size here. I'll just paste it in there. And then you can zoom in. So what I'll do is, well, actually, let me zoom back out and do a. I might have to tilt this a little bit to get it to be straightened out. I'll see. We'll play with it. So then I use the box tool, try to box the. Yeah, it's a little off. 
deselect that and we're going to make it try that uh oh there we go sorry about that my keyboard skills are not that great right now I'll try to box that again well that's good enough I think X control X to and it will do a new image this is how I get my most of my textures now it's a little off eh. yeah we'll see if we can just kind of alright let's just see if we can box this off again close that to a new image after we cut it all right, we'll just use that for now. Okay, so we'll save this off to my stadium textures as a PNG file, and we can call it whatever Aloha Scoreboard, a C O R E. That's fine. Save that, and we can go back here. File import. Let's see, Aloha should be here. Where is that? Oops. Uh, Aloha score, here it is. And we just import it and put it just like we would any other thing, right? Except it's not going to fit all on that one one face. But if we just place it here, hit a select, and we place it over here, it's going it, to, it, it, you know, it fits it, but it kind of, you can see it, it kind of overran and it restarted to repeat that. So we're just going to move this, we're going to work on this. And we've got this face right here. We're going to move this out a little bit. Oops, sorry, I'm just moving it around. I'm going to move this down. Okay, let's see. Now we select this again. And then we can kind of just pull with this one a little bit. Alright. Sorry, it's not the most responsive thing sometimes. Okay. So, that's somewhat of a good school board right there. That's kind of what I do in a nutshell. To kind of keep the, uh, to make it look as real as possible. Now, I want to make sure, as always, we reverse and paste. Reverse. Reverse, paint. Reverse. Doesn't matter what the reverse side looks like, really, usually. Okay, so that's the uh, video for now. We have our field. We have everything pretty much textures painted. Uh, almost ready for me. I will, the next video, I'll try to do some final walkthrough preparations before we export to OBJ to get into the game. So I hope this was uh, fun and uh, informative. Uh, sorry for all that clicking, and but you know we can see what needs to the kind of detail that needs to be done here to get the stadium ready. All right. Well, till the next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.